But whatever length of time we are spending in practice, there are, are five things that we want to touch on. And the first of those is the most obvious. Kids need to shoot every single day. They need to practice shooting game spots, games, game shots, game spots, game speed. They need to practice shooting. We take it for granted sometimes. I've heard coaches say kids have to practice shooting on their own. When we get together, it's a team practice. I think that's crazy. Um, you cannot, last time I checked, the only way to score points in this game was to put this ball in the basket. And the greatest plays in all the world make no difference whatsoever if you can't make a three or hit a jumper or finish a layup. So practice shooting every day and practice shooting the shots that your offense is going to get you in games. Again, we go back to that premise of being good at things that happen a lot. How in the world can you expect to be successful if you don't practice shooting? Secondly, we practice defensive transition every day. It may only be two or three minutes, but we're going to emphasize to our kids that we don't want to give up layups. We want to protect the basket. We want to stop the ball every single time there's a change in possession. We want to make sure that we have that short up so we don't give up easy baskets. Third, rebounding. Again, the adage, be good at things that happen a lot. A lot of shots are missed over the course of a basketball game. They're missed by us, they're missed by our opponent. Rebounds become an integral part of being a successful basketball team. So, practice it. It may come out of live. If your rebounding practice is coming out of a half court scrimmage or a three on three, uh, make sure that you or an assistant coach is focusing on rebounding, is talking to kids about rebounding technique, is talking about uh, the importance of pursuit and the mindset that's involved with rebounding happens all the time. And if you want to be good at it, you have to work on it. Third would be fundamentals of offense. And the, again, that goes back to basic fundamentals of handling this basketball, dribbling, passing, catching. Um, it goes to fundamentals of movement, what you do when you don't have this ball, cutting, screening, spacing the floor, moving up and down in transition. Every single day we spend at least 10 minutes and typically more like 30 on fundamental offensive movement. And last but not, not least, last but not least, defensive fundamentals. Uh, we, we have what we call every days. So every single day we're gonna work on closing out on a live ball. We're gonna work on containing a ball, staying in front of the dribble, and we're gonna work on contesting shots. It's those three things every way in some shape, form, or fashion we're going to pay attention to those things because I don't think it matters how you play. If you're in a zone, if you play with a lot of pressure, if you play with the sag, if you play soft, you have to be able to close out on a live ball, contain a dribble, and contest a shot if you want to have a chance at being successful as a defensive team.